Hi, I'm Pedro and welcome to Mandai Monthly, your monthly guide to the sights and sounds of our parks. After a short break, we're back. This March, we'll be meeting some prehistoric giants at River Wonders before rolling over to Night Safari to meet some armoured critters. Are you ready? Let's go! The first animal we're meeting today is found just in front of River Wonders' giant panda forest. These are the sturgeons. Although they look like sharks, these majestic fish belong to a separate family of fish. Sturgeons are often called living fossils because they have changed very little from their ancestor 200 million years ago. They are known for their bony plates called scutes along their sides, as well as their whisker-like bubbles. Nadia is a junior aquarist from River Wonders and the sturgeons are under her care. Nadia, I noticed that the sturgeons are kept in an enclosed aquarium unlike many of the other aquariums around River Wonders that are open. Why is this the case? Okay, so basically in the wild, right, armor sturgeons are found in cold temperature water ranging from 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. So if kept indoors, we can actually maintain the temperature at the desired range as compared to if we kept it outdoor, um, it will actually be generally of a high temperature due to the hot weather. A lot of people assume that fish are not very clever animals. Is it true that sturgeons are actually pretty intelligent? I would say they are quite intelligent because uh, they know when uh, their timings for feeding. So whenever we come up to feed them, they will actually wait at the uh, places that they will feed. So every day we actually feed them with fish and we actually target feed them using a pole. Okay, so target training is basically when we place a target and object at their eye area. Uh, this is to actually guide them to the holding tank. So this is actually to aid them uh, and guide them towards the holding tank area during the vet checkups. So Nadia, are there any special sturgeons that you want guests to look out for when they're here? So currently we have two large sturgeons in the exhibit. So we have uh, one lighter in colour and another one on the darker colour. Thanks Nadia. Our next animal is a ball of a time. Upon entering Night Safari, make a left turn to the Fishing Cat Trail. There, you find the Southern Three Banded Armadillo. This small nocturnal mammal is named for the three flexible bands of scutes that cover its body, which allows it to roll up into a tight ball for protection when threatened. Unlike other armadillo species, these plates are not attached to the skin on the sides, allowing the head, legs and tail to be tucked in like pieces of a jigsaw. Shanom is a keeper here at Night Safari and the armadillos are under his care. Shanom, can you tell us a little bit more about our armadillos here? Uh, okay, uh, armadillos mean little armored one in Spanish. He is Rocha, he's a male and he's a five years old. What do we feed our armadillos? So in the Night Safari, we give them ants, termite, uh, means fruits and vegetables. When you're nice safari, sometimes you might come across a little device in the exhibit. Shanom, can you tell us a little bit more about this device here? Uh, we give uh, them some enrichment devices, like this, a uh, tacro ball in the exhibit. He has to find out how to get to the mealworm inside. Uh, this will promote natural foraging behaviours. Sometimes it could be a bit difficult to spot the armadillos. Do you have any viewing tips for our guests? Okay, I will suggest you wait a bit because he is running around in the exhibit, so he will come out front soon. So it's just a matter of waiting for a while. Yes. And that's it for this issue of Mandai Monthly. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you in our parks real soon. Bye!